Hey everybody, it's Ade Shikoya from Agile TV at Bosnia Agile Day 2018. And right now I'm with Andreas Winter Steiger. Steiger. Winter, I'm Hi trying. Uh, but um, before we get started, I'm just going to ask uh, Andreas to introduce yourself. So if you can do please. So basically, I'm an Agile coach and an Agile trainer. I'm a certified Scrum trainer and also a certified Scrum coach from uh, the Scrum Alliance. I've been doing Agile since the late 90s, where I started on something called, later called XP. <laughs> right, okay. And, about well, that thing. yeah, my background is software development, but I stopped doing this a couple of years back. Right. So okay. I, I'm, I'm pretty much into Agile corporate culture and this kind of things. Okay. You just mentioned a key word there. Uh, so you gave an awesome uh, keynote speak earlier on, but you just seen, inter said a key word there that's of great interest to me. Culture. So you spoke about culture hacking. What is, what is culture hacking? Culture hacking is is not. Uh, so it's all about uh, changing corporate culture. And I, I tried this to do. I tried to do this for many years. Okay. And I figured out that uh, what we can do is you can. There is no approach top down changing you know, opposing values, opposing culture to a company or to, right, okay. to a bunch of people to a tribe. Uh, it's more like hacking approach okay. where you where you really need to work with people and with the individuals and create a surrounding environment where people can uh, start living values and buy into values and that's so uh, what, what I like to say is a culture emerges okay. based on the environment that you build. Okay, awesome. So. We've been hearing a lot about behaviors creating the culture and the fact that it's not top down and it it's, can be bottom up and, and various different things. Um, but in your experience, what are some of the key things that you introduce to an organization to help them even recognize the need to change the culture? I mean, in my experience, for the most part, totally agree about the culture, but when you go into an organization, it's like, oh, we just want you to do that agile stuff. Leave all that underneath the carpet, right? Maybe I didn't get the question correct, but uh, the idea is not to, to tell them what to do. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's basically not tell them what to do. I used to have this approach for many years, in the early years. I, I think I did my first consulting gig in 2005 or right, so. Okay. And what I did right back then is I told them what to do. You know, you need to do test-driven development, con continuous sure. integration, all these kinds of things. That makes, um, part, partly that makes sense. Okay, so this helps the organization get from here to there, mm -hmm. but not the full step and not the full game that Agile really promises. Mm -hmm. So in order to, to get this get this promise right, you need to do more. And, and that was what was I was talking about, the difference in my, in my talk today. Right, yeah. The difference between doing Agile and being Agile. Of course. Yeah. It's all about attitude, it's about mindsets, changing people's mindset. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it, so we have to change individuals. So. Mm -hmm or we have to help individuals to change. Mm. So even in regards to the individual side, because I totally, I, totally, I totally believe that as well, and I'm a totally believer in the fact that the culture is a representation of the collective individual behaviors. But even the individuals, right? Have you ever experienced the fact that as you're working with a set of individuals and changing their behaviors, then you have to go over to another set of the organization to help them to change their behaviors, but it doesn't stick in that original group, so their behaviors change back. Exactly. How do you manage to do that? Uh, I mean, that's exactly the problem that we face if, if you look into today's environment. So many companies claim they are doing Agile today. But basically, they may, may be doing Agile, but they are not Agile at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and that is uh, making Agile stick is a cultural change. It's not a behavioral change that you oppose people. Okay, you have to meet at 9 a.m. and tell everyone what you did last, uh, last day and, 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 and so on. Uh, doing a daily or something like that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more like making people understand why they want to share what they're working on. Mm -hmm. why, they, why they want to uh, understand why we should do test-driven development, why it makes sense. And in order to help them, uh, that is what I call culture hacking. Right. Because it's, it's, it's like a hacking approach on an individual to help people understand. It's more like mirroring, it's helping them, creating transparency for them, making them see, making them understand. Awesome. So, so I know one of the things that you also spoke about today in your talk was about, I think it was Peter Drucker's coach that, um, um, quote, that culture eats strategy for breakfast. Yes. What does that mean since lots of organizations are actually very strategically driven? Oh, I, and I think this is, I mean, uh, 
I w it would be harsh if I say it's rubbish, but at the end of the day, I think it's rubbish. <laughs> I think it, it is what it is, exactly, you, 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 you tell it. And uh, I see a lot of companies uh, coming out and this is our new strategy and our strategy approach. And even I did this okay. for, for a very long time. I, I did try uh, to, to define a strategy. This is where we're going to go to. And of course, I always did uh, an approach where we, I want people to buy in. But at the end of the day, uh, you need to uh, create a culture, and this culture drives the, the strategy. Okay, and of course you can you can align this, and you should align this, but uh, that's what Peter Trucker said: culture mm -hmm. eats strategy. You can define whatever strategy you want, as mm -hmm. long as you don't have the culture that supports the strategy. Mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense at all. And this is what we see in many organizations coming from a traditional waterfall, hierarchical, red organization in, right. in, in terms yeah. of LALU. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, red organization is, uh, this is the strategy and our strategy is agile. Look, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, we're just speaking about things. We've got to be transparent that's and that's what it is. Yeah, let's, let's name it. Let's call it what it is, right? I always have this saying that, you know, if, if a duck... Uh, what if it quacks like a duck, <laughs> it walks like a duck, and it quacks like a duck. Then the chances are it is a duck. Okay. So here's the thing. So I'm sure there's many people, and just like for me, in some of the things you've suggested here is most probably opening up some thoughts, and maybe people have questions. How would they go about contacting you? Um, www.empirics.com. Okay. <laughs> uh, empirics without an e. Okay. Just, uh, um, yeah. Thanks. Awesome. So there you get it, right? So culture is key. You've been hearing it, you're gonna keep on hearing that theme. Culture is key. If we are looking to really make an agile transformation that sticks, it's also looking at the cultural aspects and the behavior also drives the culture and it's working at individual level, but also trying to put some things in place that enables uh, firefighting to take place and that culture to be able to grow in a healthy way through an inspect and adapt cycle. Um, and that's really where the future lies. So. Andreas, I just want to say thank you very much for thank your, you. your, your insights and I um, really look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thank you so much. Ali Shakoya, Bosnia Agile Day 2018 in Sarajevo. Catch you soon.